dance into the world is badly needed right now. So before we do the teaching part, we're gonna do a chant that uh, I always use to welcome the sun, the light after the darkness. And we will teach you these words uh, later. So it's called Yeshe Sole. If my students are joining in and you know the chant, you can actually sing along. Even if we do not hear you, the prayer is the important part. So welcoming the light after the darkness. Yeshe Sole, chant from Naples. Yes, so Sole, scagliente imperatore, scagliente mio d'argento, cavale 400, 150, tutta la notte canta, canta, viola, l'usastro de scola, mastro, mastro, manna mena lanza, caccia ire in Francia, dalla Francia alla Lombardia, dove sta Madame Lucia, non chiovere, non chiovere, caccia ire a muovere, a muovere, l'ugrano del mastro Giuliano, non chiovere, non chiovere, esce, esce, sole. Yeshem su So after this uh, healing chant prayer we're gonna begin by honoring the Black Madonna, which is also part of my book uh, called Healing Journeys with the Black Madonna. I know that some people that are joining definitely have my book. And it's really my life's journey of uh, spending many, many years in the south of Italy, where I have um, done research for 40 years and really going back into these roots of this tradition, understanding the Black Madonna's true meaning, which is very complex, but 
mainly she does represent the womb, the womb of the mother of Mother Earth and the African mother. So it's a very important subject today with what's happening in the world. I feel very compelled and to share this tradition more than ever, even though in my book I speak about the plague before, before this happened with the pandemic. And, um, and also about bringing uh, different people together of different races and honoring Africa also as the roots of civilizations. So we are going, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> you can say something if you want. Okay. So I want to uh, say a little bit what we're going to do is dedicated mainly to the Black Madonna. Um, and the tradition, the, the first one is going to be from the Neapolitan tradition. In the book, there are seven Black Madonnas that I uh, talk about and then kind of a little few more as I s explain the journey that I had for all those years. But the, mo the most important uh, legend is the one of the seven sisters. So in the region of Campania, the region of Naples, there is a beautiful legend of seven Madonnas. There are seven sisters. And seven is, of course, a very symbolic number. And uh, the last one was believed to be the ugliest. So she ran away to hide on a very high mountain. And then people had to really uh, work very hard to find her, to go up the mountain. When they found her, they saw that she was the most beautiful of all. And that she was black. And they called her Mamma Schiavona, the serving mother. And she's now known as La Madonna di Monte Vergine, where there is the beautiful tradition that we're going to show you and then teach you a little later of uh, chanting for her and dancing and drumming the Tamuriata. This location was also sacred to the goddess Cibele, black goddess of the earth, where people did this beautiful uh, drumming and dance rituals for centuries, pre-Christian rituals, and it was also sacred to the poet Virgil. So all these legends are based on reality because the people in those times was between ancient Greece and the Romans they did write things down and they poems were written about Virg Virgil wrote poems but then after they wrote about him and the celebrations which are very interesting celebrations they were very sensual or justic rituals also done by men who became women and they were known as Galli so the transgender tradition in Monte Vergine is very ancient and it's still popular today. Again, that's another message I like to get across because this, uh, what's happening today with the movement is beautiful and it's connected to the fact that in ancient times they were sacred. So we're going to uh, do the little chant for the Madonna Monte Vergine. Normally this is sung for many, many hours going up the mountain barefoot asking for miracles and healings. And then when people see this beautiful painting which is very much of a Byzantine painting with beautiful eyes and very enigmatic uh, then they uh, ask for healing and miracles and then they dance the Tamoriada which we're going to show you with my beautiful dancers Greta and Francesca and and then we will explain more how um, the dance goes it's done with castanets and don't forget the Castanets are not Spanish, they are originally Neapolitan, brought to Spain in the Renaissance by the Neapolitans. And most people are not aware of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, they came from the gypsies. So I'm going to do um, the Monte Vergine, just a few bars, you want to do it in C? E salim stumu tanyone E amma truva mamma schiavona E amma truva mamma schiavona E bello occhio tena maronna E ma parona do yesterday, parane do yesterday, do illuminate, mamma mia, sei incurunata, mamma mia. 
sem coronar e com tutta sua companhia sate pane maronna mia sate pane maronna mia si me giudo si me venute quante grazie che avim avuto quante grazie che avim avuto I'll sing first I'll sing first Bella figliola cate che è rosa, bella figliola cate che è rosa, che bello nome mamma uè, che bello nome ma yep. che bello nome ma me doi da miso, da miso non ma bello, delli rose uè da miso non ma bello, delli rose. Come le sciore, mo veni e iammela, yeah, ah, 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 ah. Come le sciore, cam, paradiso. Chi le può fa, chi le può fa, chi le può fa, può fa, può fa, in coppo, rietto, sotto, rietto, chi le può fa, può fa, può fa. E lo mare vive nello di chi entra, tra un nello piglia a mano, posa in terra e faccia e fa pulle ce n'è. Yep! Hey!
Hey! Hey! Hey! Hey! Well, I must say, it's my first time on stage. Great to play with you uh, again. It's been a long time. I love teaching, and I love teaching on Zoom. I've developed an incredible following of students from all over the world. But as a performer, I started performing when I was 14, and I still love being on stage. <laughs> and teaching at the same time. So thank you, Amanda, and thank you to the Godard Center for giving us the opportunity of coming back live with the stage and lights, and next time with an audience live as well. But with Zoom, we reach more people. So that's the, the beauty of the weird things we're living through, is that I've been able to reach more people than I normally would if I was in, doing physical workshop in person. So uh, we want to do another song for you uh, dedicated to the Black Madonna. Actually, actually, I would like to do two. One is dedicated to Our Lady of Freedom. So if people have my book, probably have, uh, are familiar with the fact that the Black Madonna sanctuaries in the south of Italy are located in uh, sacred sites that go back to pre-Christian times and the goddesses that were honored were many. It was Cibele, the goddess of the earth, originally, they say, from Anatolia, the black meteorite that fell from the stars and carved into the statue of Cibele. And then also the um, other goddesses that are important are Aphrodite, the, go the goddess of love and the sea, and very important is Isis from Egypt, Africa. So the, a lot of the Black Madonnas really connect to Isis and Africa. So there's one that I'm particularly devoted to. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I wrote my little traveling image of a huge statue. Maybe it will show up. La Madonna della Libera, Our Lady of Freedom. And she really is very busy right now, I think, because we're all praying, praying to her to free us from the pandemic, from all the things that are happening in the world, from violence, racism, and all that. And also uh, to shift consciousness so that there's going to be a rebirth for us in, this, in the near future, we hope. So um, I just will say the, the lyrics that people can follow, I'm sure. Maybe Mara can sing with me, yes? Uh, and Francesca, you want to sing if you're okay? So uh, there are two different um, verses done for La Madonna della Libera in Moiano, province of Benevento. This was an area known as Irpinia, where the Egyptians had a very important settlement. All the area of Naples, in Pompeii, there's still a temple of Isis. In Benevento, uh, in the cathedral, there is a site where they still left uh, the remains of the temple of Isis. So the first one is Madonna della Libera, Regina dell'Anima Mia, which means Madonna, Our Lady of Freedom, Queen of My Soul. Regina dell'Anima Mia, which means Queen of My Soul. Quanta bella chiamare Maria, how beautiful it is to call upon Mary. The second part, it's easier. It's Evviva Maria, Maria Evviva, and then Ave Maria. So we'll do it a couple of times. Um, I will sing the solo and everybody can sing the repeat. But you can come in probably as a chorus with me. So let's send this prayer out. Our Lady of Freedom, Madonna della Libera, aiutaci tu. Madonna della Libera, Regina dell'anima mia, Regina dell'anima mia, quanto è bella chiamare Maria. If you want to join in, Madonna della libera, Regina dell'anima mia. Regina dell'anima mia, quanta è bella chiamare Maria. One more time. Madonna della libera, regina dell'anima mia. Regina dell'anima mia, quanta bella 
Chiamare Maria e viva Maria, Maria e viva, e viva Maria, Maria e viva Ave. Maria Ave 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 Maria E viva Maria Maria E viva E viva Maria Maria, evviva, ave, 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 Maria, ave, 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 Maria. So now we're gonna go on with the journey of the Black Madonna to do the song and a dance that we also, our intention is to teach you probably briefer at the end. This is a, a ritual that connects to the Black Madonna of Seminara in Calabria, Our Lady of the Poor, and also the Black Madonna of Montserrat in Spain. In these legends, in these myths, they're all sisters. So the Spanish one is a sister to Seminara and another one in, in uh, Basilicata called Madonna di Vigiano. Again, all of this is explained in my book, but I'm sure not everyone that is listening has this book. It would be great if everyone did. But my book is getting a lot of recognition. Again, I think it's the right time to bring attention to these uh, very important traditions to go back into what happened in the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. In the Middle Ages, people lived in fear of death by the plague, very similar to today the end of the war, the world and wars and crusades. So before the COVID-19 virus came out, I had already staged for many, many years this dance and we do it on stage with the full company. We have a great dancer who plays death on stilts and we come out carrying a big painting of the Black Madonna as they did in the Middle Ages, but they still do today, especially in this town in uh, Seminara Calabria, to fight the plague, to send away fear, especially. And they believed in that time that with the circle of drummers using this very strong six eight rhythm of the Tarantella, they could block the contagious disease from the town. So, so there are a lot of accounts and people wrote out the stories of how these towns were safe and they were miracled. And in continuation of the miracles they received, they still do these processions every August for La Madonna dei Poveri, Our Lady of the Poor that was found under the ruin of a temple after many, many centuries. And because only the poor people could lift her, because when the rich people tried to lift her, she became heavy. Then uh, she the patron of the poor, La Madonna dei Poveri. In Calabria still today, if you come with me when I lead the pilgrimage, right now it's gonna be a virtual pilgrimage, but hopefully next year it's in person. You will see the drummers doing this rhythm and dancing in circle and spinning. So we're gonna do that prayer called Cunctissimus Concanentes that comes from the medieval times from the beautiful collection called Livre Verme from Spain. And it's an Ave Maria, it's a healing, healing chant. And we put it together uh, with, with the rhythm, this is our own version. And then uh, within this prayer, we will do this circle spinning dance that is based on tradition, but again, it's my take and choreography. So. Tonight, our aim is first to show it to you and then to end with teaching you this very powerful healing trance dance. Cuntissimus.
Juntisibus con carentes, Ave María. 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 Virgo sola e se sente, e la qui son giuditus. Gabriele sa pelados, a qui mi son giuditus. Cara passi e chi dici, Ave Maria. Cara passi e chi dici, Ave Maria. Cara passi e chi dici, io di te cari sibi. Sì, che dici, ho di te cari sivi, e non concipi es Maria, Ave Maria, e non concipi es Maria, Ave Maria. E non concipi es Maria, di te cari sivi, e non concipi es Maria, di te cari sivi. some people speaking in the back. I think someone is that is listening to us is not muted. <laughs> but it's all good because I heard what they were saying. <laughs> so this is a very powerful prayer and I did it with all the intention to bring healing and get rid of darkness and the beautiful dancers as you see, we're putting that intention. And grazie, Maura, beautiful sound. I miss that sound. We haven't played together in a very long time. So um, I now would like to teach the first dance, Tamoriata. So Francesca is going to be speaking with me as well. Uh, the chant we just did, we will also teach you a simple way to do it. Uh, but the words to that, some of you that have been studying in habit, cunctisimus concanentes, which means it means Let's sing together like, and, and rejoice and rejoice for Mary, Ave Maria, Hail Mary. So when we do it again as a dance, and if you're inspired to sing it along, you should and put it out there. Cuntisimus concanentes Ave Maria. So if, hopefully, I don't know how many people are watching us, but hopefully some of you will follow the Tamoriata. And... Um, some of my regular students have done it on Zoom. Some have done it in person. <laughs> of course, everything in Zoom is a little different, but please put out the intention. This is a very beautiful, sensual dance. Again, going back to the rites of Cibele, the goddess of the earth, done in, by couples, but if you're alone, you can still 
follow these movements, it's very important that you think of it like the drum, which is a 4 4, dum 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 dum, that you're going down and up, down and up, really connect to the earth, to the ground, and to feel that pulsation in your solar plexus and release blockages and energies. And then a lot of these movements that are uh, opening the arms are really good to open the heart chakra, to release any emotions that are stuck here. And uh, you will see a lot of these movements are also connected to Africa. So our Southern Italian culture, unlike the North, which is more Celtic and connected to France and other parts of Europe, it, this one is, <laughs> or sometimes Yugoslavia too, right, Slavic. Um, this is really African and North African. So it's the rhythm. And so also that's one of the most important things. Remember that we are used to worship black sacred images, not in this country that much. And that's one of the things I would like to educate people about. They were used to see black Madonnas, black Jesuses, and these dances are done for her as a fertility rite. So Francesca, you, you can explain some of the first movements. The... Sure. Should I mute myself then? Maybe better, right? So. Hold on. I'm so happy that I can teach this dance in the human economy. <laughs> in this art of human. So we're going to start exactly like Alessandra said, feeling the drum beat in the feet. It's a very ground dance. So even when you see us going up with the body, really it's about the ground and going back down into the earth. So we can just start by taking steps, like little steps side to side. Um, I'm just going to the skirt up a bit just so you can see the footwork. Again, even when we're up, we're very down. When we're up, we're very down. So it's a four four and four steps. When, uh, especially the ladies, while you're doing that, make sure your hips sway. Uh, not on their own, but consequentially. So your hips move because your base moves. It's not like a dance where you purposely hit the hip is a sway. I can see a few of you practicing. I'm too far from the camera to see. But I trust you're doing a good job. When you do this, if you have a human in front of you, you can do it mirroring. Now, I took away the castanets because they're very loud to the camera. But I would normally be calling with my castanets, the studs being the same. And if you have nobody to dance with, dance with us. Turn to the camera and dance with us. Uh, you can do your sway side to side, or you can move towards any way, towards any way. If you're dancing with us, same thing, move towards any way, towards any way. Again, when you're moving front and back, same thing, consequentially, your hips sway a little bit. Okay, great. Um, are, you, are you going to do it? Is it better if you just play some air with me? We want the drum. Uh, well, it's going to need the drum, yeah. Let's just start with that. Let's just see if I need to do that. Participant that it's not muted, or is that my impression? Um, just want to make sure. Okay? okay, everything okay? Okay, bye, Francesca. Okay, so after dancing with your human or with us, side to side, coming back, we're going to do 
a little bit of a crossing start with the feet. So the feet will cross and open, cross and open, cross and open, cross and open. So it's four times we're crossing. I know you can set your zoom so you're mirrored or not, so I'm not giving you a side. Pick a side, four times cross your ankles. Then we're going to step forward and again lead with the hips. Up, 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 again, to, to bear the apple really. And we continue, cross, like a cut, and three, and four, step forward, up, lead with the hips, hips, hips. So we can try to do four sets of hips. Uh, we're going to do it facing each other, then we're going to turn, face you guys, face each other again so you see different angles. <clears throat> So we are going front and back and we're bidding at the same time. So we're not, we're going to start this facing you guys this time. Then we're going to be facing it in work. Okay, let's go. Kitty turned off my computer. Kitty turned off my computer. I keep hearing somebody in the background. I was watching something, yeah. Sorry. così lo sappiamo perché noi non stiamo contando <ride> grazie ok uh, now we're going to do the step gather so again I will demonstrate it moving towards you step gather step gather step Ooh, my feet are off camera <laughs> let's start way back <laughs> step gather step fully sway and gravity ground okay except that when we do this we are once again 
orbiting. You can orbit around yourself, you're enough of the universe, but we are orbiting around each other. Our arms are up, we cast nets eventually, so we orbit step, gather, step, gather, step, gather, step, gather, always there between step to the left. Okay? So we can do it facing you guys, because you get a chance to dance with us, and then we'll be turning and dancing with each other. And I'll be doing it. So it's production on the day when the Soviet Union was Yes. Okay, Thank you. 
Enjoy your virtual tea. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 I need to tilt the camera so you can see. Where are they going? To the ground. Okay. So you will go down to your knees in whatever way fits your knees, or your back, or your space. Uh, and you'll be dancing with us, or with the universe, or with another human. This is the part that is the most devotional when we really get a chance to let go. So make sure you free your head, free open your heart chakra. The arms are moving consequentially like the hips before, it's not okay. Uh, because I have a woman, I'm going to relate to her as she relates to me, front and back. Uh, we're also going to be wrapping around, hooking knees. Okay, wrapping, and then I'm wrapping just to wrap on the other side. Okay, so all that fun stuff. If you're dancing with us, great. One gigantic group of movers. We can move towards each other and away. The wrapping, I guess, <laughs> virtual wrapping. <laughs> Virtual unwrapping, changing side. I mean, it's perfectly socially distanced. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the okay. finale. Uh, well, the finale will depend on our musicians. They will cue us when we hear it. Yeah, there's uh, one, two, one, two, three at the end. When we hear that, we know the party's coming to an end, so we will end with the flow. Uh, depends where we are. Sometimes back. Sometimes up, but very glorious. No matter where you are, yeah. glorify the universe. How long are you just going to go up? I can walk. Yeah, okay. I mean, if you have a human with you, you can take turns up and down. One, one goes up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to Francesca and Greta. I just got an idea. Be ready. The TikTok. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hate TikTok. But I became an expert with my daughter. <laughs> Something sacred. It may go viral. <laughs> Sing. <laughs> okay. Do indulge and do stay. 
it's not strictly choreographed. So I will just show you the sequences and then you can pick and choose and mix and match as you wish. So we have, let's face it, we have the step sway, okay? Then we have the same step sway front. We have the same step sway back. We have the same step sway, step sway orbiting, moving forward, and we have it moving back. Okay. Then we have the gather. Oh no, we have the cross. Four crosses. Three, four. And then four opens. And that can go on for as much as you wish. Then we have the gather with go. Baby steps gather. Baby steps let go. And remember that as you do that, you can choose to stay in one channel or you can move around, change your directions. Okay. Then that's it. And then we go to we go to the to the party, to the downstairs party. There's a lot more to this dance. You saw it all over. <laughs> So let me say some, let me say something before we start. Francesca, you're doing a great job to explain it, and I love the way you're doing it together. And I just got a lot of ideas. Later. But the main thing for the students and participants is to really have fun with it. When we do this in Italy, it's improvised. So we're following a choreography. If you were in the streets, if you were in front of the church, and everybody was there in a circle dancing, it would be totally improvised. And they also keep changing partners. Again, going back to these ancient, uh, very sensual rituals. So uh, now if you learn the choreography, go with it. If you're not so sure, you can improvise, but don't change dance, stay within the tamoriada. Very important you stay grounded, that you feel close to the earth, and that you open your arms and open your heart chakra. And if you have a partner, it's you know, sometimes more fun. <laughs> Right? So, yeah. But if you learn it and then you have a partner later on, try to do it with your partner. It's really a lot of fun. Okay, ready? Siamo pronti. Però mi devi dare il segnale. Ah, beh, quando lei si alza il segnale, giusto? Yeah, okay. Bye, Mara. Okay.
Francesca Pisano e Teresa Campo. If we have time to give you one more chance, yeah? Yes. Uh, to give them a way to catch their breath, I would like to do a chant to the Sicilian black Madonna, Leva Leva. What do you think? There is a Madonna del Mare. This is not from Sicily. It's from Torre Nunziata near Naples. There is a big devotion of la Madonna del Mare, Stella Maris, Our Lady of the Sea, that is really connected to Aphrodite, the goddess of the sea and love. This one is a beautiful tradition in August near Naples where people reenact the finding of the Madonna that came in a box through the waves in the ocean. And another important black Madonna is by the sea in Sicily called la Madonna del Tindari. And she's up on a mountain, a beautiful, uh, beautiful statue with the inscription says Nigra Sum, set Formosa, which means I'm black and beautiful. And um, the, the legend, like many other Madonna, say that she arrived during a tempest from the sea and then uh, she calmed the waters and when the fishermen got ashore all safe from the tempest, they realized this beautiful black Madonna wanted to stay there in this sacred spot, and they, which was also an ancient Greek settlement called Tindares. And then they built a church for her over the hill, but originally they had her in the cave. Again, this is also a myth that goes back to a pre-Christian legend of uh, the, a goddess that was already there. They were there in that area, especially it was Demeter, the goddess of the earth, Shibele, and Diana, the goddess of the moon, but also connected to the waters. So we do a little chant from Sicily now, a fisherman chant called Leva Leva. The people who are studying with me have learned this and they've learned it as a chant with the drum. You can sing along, it's very simple. Um, as people go out to pick up the tuna, the, to fish the tuna, pick up the fish net, they say, e leva, leva, le, so which means levare, pick up the fish net. So your part to sing is very simple when we do the chorus. The words are, e leva, leva, le. And then the melody is, I will do the, the, the solo, and then you do the repeat with me. Yep. So I'll do, e amuni niku maria, and the repeat is, e leva, leva, le. E yamuni ni bedi bedi, e la vale vale. Don't do the harmony, don't do it. Okay, so like, then we go faster. We do e yamuni ni kumaria, e la vale vale. Perfetto. Pronti? Honoring la Madonna del Mare e la Sicilia. E yamuni ni kumaria. E yamuni ni badi badi. E leva leva. E leva leva. E yamuni ni kumaria. E yamuni ni mezumari. E leva leva E leva leva E yamuni ni biscaduri E yamuni ni apiscari E leva leva E leva leva E yamuni ni bedi bedi e yamuni ni mezzo mari e leva leva 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 feeling purified by the water, the turquoise water of Sicily. Don't we wish we were there now? So we're gonna close with teaching you this, what I call the spinning dance, the spiral dance, uh, the dance for the Black Madonna 
of Montserrat and Calabria, but again, uh, it's inspired really by these ancient um, traditions, especially the Middle Ages. And it's with the song Cunctissimus Concanentes, but also with the faster Tarantella. But tonight we're gonna do it slower. So if you can explain it, then we just do it together. So the chant part, if you all wanna uh, repeat that, when we will do it all together, I will ask the participants, even if I don't hear you, to do four times this slow chant. Cuntissimus Concanentes. You'll get the note from the violin. Probably, probably did a different key, let me see. Son canentes, Ave Maria, Cuntissimus con canentes, Ave Maria. So we're going to do this four times, slow. Then she's going to do her uh, introduction, and then with the rhythm, you will follow the dance that Francesca is going to show you now. You want to explain it? No, Cuntissimus. Or you want to do the other one? Quale infocata? Whatever you choose. So, we're going to do it with a faster tarantella, it's okay? So, but we still start with slow Cuntissimus Concanentes four times when we're ready to do the ritual. And then she will start the faster tarantella that you're going to learn now with Francesca. So, uh, Francesca, you tell us when you want us to play. Wait, am I muted? Yeah, to do that step in a circular motion. Uh, the circular pattern is really important because that's the devotional part. So if your space allows without bumping into anything dangerous or breakable, feel free to take that step in, in what we call a serpentina. So a circle that can also open serpentina like a snake, like a serpent. Um, from the circular, you can open up and Go exploring where you can. After that, we're going to take that towards each other and away from each other, involving more of the body. It's an energy gathering moment. So with the triple step, same concept. We're going, or well, actually I need my arms for this. One, two, three, towards you. One, two, three, away from you. One, two, three, reaching each other, and reaching away from each other, and we're going to do that quite a few times. After that is the core of the dance, the spin. Uh, the spin has to be your own spin. I will give you, show you a couple of uh, variations. One can be what I call the toddler spin. I just call it that. You know, toddlers spin because they just like that sensation and they stay flat footed and literally open in quarter turns and let themselves pivot around like a doll on a stand. Um, if that doesn't suit you, you can rest more of your weight on one leg, have the other leg with the toes tucked. So you can use that as a pushing point while your standing leg is in a pivoting point, and you can push and drop and rotate as you do that. 
I would suggest if you are a no disturber, try both, see which one suits you the best. Uh, and you can, you're not stuck with the one for the whole spinning. We're spinning off, yes. Are we spinning for a long time? Okay. In case we spin for a long time, because sometimes that happens. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. You can change and you can also change the directions. The only thing, if you feel like you're losing your balance or you're feeling a little dizzy and it's time to change directions, you'll keep that same dynamic. If you're really spinning fast to the right and you want to go to the left, slow down before you pick up the speed. Because if you go from fast right to fast left, you'll be fast on the ground. So <laughs> we don't want that, depending on your floors. So that's it. And then we spin ourselves to the ground. And you literally feel that, how you Yeah. Doing? So from the spinning, whatever type of spinning, we are slowly going to spin ourselves, you can see us, to the ground. Again, whatever your knees allow. And this is the devotional part towards that moron. At some point, I will hear the musical cue to go up and to bow all the way down, potentially forehead on the ground, but again, whatever your body allows. That's it. The hardest depth to teach. I feel like such a failure. No. So let's do this as a prayer together, it's a ritual to our dark mother, the African mother, the black Madonna, really asking, like they did in the Middle Ages, to stop the plague and to bring life and light after the darkness. So before we do the song, do the follow us with the slow four times, cuntissimus concanentes, and then we'll start. Can you give us the note? Yeah. Cuntissimus concanentes, Ave Maria. Cuntissimus concanentes, Ave Maria. Cuntissimus concarentes, Ave Maria. You can do the intro if you want. Contisimus con carentes, Ave Maria, Contisimus con carentes, Ave Maria, Contisimus con carentes, Ave Maria, Contisimus con carentes, Ave Maria. Virgo sulla resistente, in acquis angelitus, Gabriela sappellatus, Ave Maria, 
is Maria, Ave Maria. Thank you, CP is Maria, Ave Maria. In concipi es Maria, dite cari sibi. In concipi es Maria, dite cari sibi. Pari es que fidi uhu, ave Maria. Pari es que fidi uhu, ave Maria. Pari es que fidi uhu, ma dite cari sibi. Pari es que fidi uhu. Contisimus con canantes, Ave Maria. 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 Ave Maria. Mara, Francesca and Greta, my first performance live together. Feels great. I appreciate all your talents and devotion and really passion. We do this with a lot of passion and I, I know this comes through also with Zoom, right? <laughs> it's a lot of passion, especially today is a very interesting day in the world with the news. So we really need prayers, and I do believe in the power of prayers for shifting consciousness and getting out of evil and bringing good light, right? And, and really see us going through this tunnel, embracing il sole, yes, il sole. Also want to thank Amanda. I think we are at the end of our journey together for this time. I love being here. We, I performed here live, thanks to Kevin. Nathaniel, which I love very much, incredible artist of African music, global music. So if all goes well, we may be back here for a concert with a fuller band and with the, my beautiful dancers, hopefully in the near future. I was thinking about that around the Halloween time. Who knows? We could do a little exorcism at that time. <laughs> we always need those, right? So thank you to Amanda Hopper and thank you again to Greta Campo, Francesca Silvano, Mara Garrity, and thank you. I'm the director of our company, which you normally is called the Giulari di Piazza. Right now it's going more as Alessandra Belloni, but we're still part of the company, Giulari di Piazza. And thank you, we hope to see you again. If my students have participated, please stay in touch. You can join, uh, you know, send me an email, uh, abellonierl.com or go to my website. We will continue classes and virtual pilgrimage to the Black Madonna coming soon. Grazie and blessings to all. <laughs>